Welcome back to the breakfast show here on Channel Thirty One. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's our good friend Patrick Harvey. Hey, hello. hello. Welcome to, to the you. show, mate. Thank you. Welcome. It's very. It's, it's <laughs> you, nice can't, you can't welcome us. We're welcoming you. And you can't you bring in notes like that. You can't have notes. You're a guest. This isn't mine, but you know, I thought it looked professional. <laughs> yep. Now you were, you're up to you're up to something a bit a bit new like that. We haven't seen you for a while. We are, no, <laughs> no, we haven't. Um, <laughs> I've been I've been in the house watching TV. Um, no, I've, uh, a friend of mine, Ian Wallace, and I have had shows in the comedy festival for the last couple of years, and um, I got back from overseas and I got bored and I said let's put on some more shows. And so what was the uh, show at the comedy festival? We did one last year called Who Wears the Pants, and the year before was Great Procrastinations. And it was a play stand up? Uh, it? it was uh, comedy theatre. Yeah. Yep. So, and we did uh, really well out of that. And so we put on these two, which is um, a sort of two short shows, one after the other, set in the same bar at the same table. So there's an overlap of characters from one yep. play to the other. And um, we've opened last Wednesday. And we do Wednesday to Saturday for the next two weeks. Sure. Um, your accent, are you originally from New Zealand or...? Uh, Auckland. <laughs> Auckland, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. people get confused with that. Yeah, there was yeah. something there. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. sense it. Yeah. Uh, the, the plays at, uh, at Gertrude in, uh, in Fitzroy. Now, it's a, it's a real, it's quite a... <laughs> people people don't know where this studio is, yeah. so <laughs> pointing, <laughs> pointing doesn't really help. Just up the street. Up the street. <laughs> no, it's, it's a bit of a weird place for a, a play, though, isn't it, don't you? Yeah, look, we've, we've used there for the last three years, and um, we just, uh, it's, it is a difficult space to work with, but it's just a great venue, and the guys who own it are awesome, and it's a great bar. We've got a bar downstairs, and we are using the function room upstairs, and we've sort of made our own little set. And so that's cool. important, if it's got a good bar. I, that's it is because, but that's see that's the thing during the interval we lose people. <laughs> it's like we'll be back in ten minutes and then. Not saying that the, the play's bad. No, no, it's no, not. No, it's no, not no, at all. No, it's no, just no. a lot of people going are alcoholics. So that's, yeah, that's it's just a really, really good but bar. Because, because like if you've got, if you've got it upstairs it. at a bar, people think it's probably a twenty-first. Because you know you're higher the upstairs. For your yeah, 21st. well, that's what people do. They walk in during the show. It's like, yeah, yeah. Megan here. What's going on? <laughs> got a promise of speeches. Megs, Megs, where are you? Everyone leaves when the tab runs out. Yeah. You know when you do that at a twenty-first. See, we don't have one. That's that's. Oh, that's what we were losing over. Thinking, You're not really hey. selling this play this morning at <laughs> but all. But come along. <laughs> There's yeah. a tab. No, um, it's, it's good. We had a review for the first time. We had our first ever review for any of our shows yesterday, uh, or the day before in The Age. And um, he, it was really, really good. And we were very, really, really happy with it. So um, that was uh, we were, that was a big moment for me and Ian, just sort of because we put on our own shows. And then we finally got a review. And um, he so uh, didn't get the paper really early. He didn't hate it. Well, uh, Ian did. Uh, I was in bed. Oh. Good. And also, Good to see you're excited. Also, about I'm it. pumped. <laughs> also, in the plays, uh, another form of neighbour star, Kate. Kate, Kate Kelty, Kate. yes. Now, yeah, well, how does it? What's, where's the sort of? So who what was the character's name? Sorry, sorry, there was, ignorant. So there's there's another there's another bloke as well, Adam Hunter, who played Cameron Robinson and Robert Robinson, the twins. Oh, the right. girl that killed you. I'm not dead. Uh, oh! Sus! Oh! Sus! I was gonna ask, I was gonna no ask. Oh, no, I'm not dead! <laughs> well, I was, first, I was, I was, I was looking at my notes going, when can we get to Neighbours? Because anyone that's been watching the show all week, there is, okay, all we ever do is just Neighbours reference after Neighbours <sighs> reference after Neighbours reference. Finally, mm. we can do Neighbours references and it's actually relevant. It's relevant. Yeah, well, so I'm not, you're dead. not dead. So, yeah, what happened? Your last episode on Neighbours, you kind of like a gnome appeared or something, and then that's that was it. Oh, I don't know. I was overseas at that point, but um, <laughs> I, whenever I came back from England, there was a package sent. To Saudi, yeah, it was Beijing. a gnome. Mm. Yeah, it was, a gnome. Oh, and no, it was, it was all St. Patrick's Day stuff. Yeah, and then, uh, and then they like, <laughs> he buried a gnome. He yeah, buried he a gnome. Buried what was buried I thought gnome. you just left the set and they didn't know who to replace you with, so they just got a gnome. <laughs> no, no one like, noticed. It'd probably do a better job. <laughs> they just got, they so got you're not dead. I'm not dead. No, wow. but we've got him and we've got Kate Kelty who played Michelle Scully, my my on screen girlfriend. Sure. She's in it, and we've got James Beatty, who we've used for the last three years. He's a guy we used to go to school with, and he's uh, he's very, very good. So um, is it just a coincidence that you you got all these people in there, or is it just everyone finished at the same time? Total coincidence. Yeah, it wasn't a selling point at all. <laughs> uh, we, we didn't think about it from a, no, 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 no. Look, basically, we we did audition them. Um, yeah, we did the right way, but and then they were just really good, and we just thought, look, we'll give them a job, and also it's a good, good selling point, you know. So, sort of, we go to the backpackers and sort of say, this is what we're doing. I was going to say, do we see the neighbours' official tour bus out the front of your play every night? Every night, that's how yep. we get there. Yeah. Yep. Well, because yeah. did you neighbours is just unbelievably big in the UK. Mm. Did you go over there in the peak when you were on there, in the hype of it all? Yeah, did you, I did. Did I you went, experience, because like, I've always wanted to know, what is it like for a Neighbours cast member when Neighbours is, you know, all I, I went over there and just ended up, um, 
ended up doing university appearances and things like that, yep. which were great. I mean, like you're talking like a thousand students in this huge thing, just all hammered, and you're standing <laughs> there talking to them, and then you get paid for it. Oh, really? Uh, which was great. But we were living in Soho, and um, I ended up having to work in a bar, which was oh, oh I, this really? is terrible. Like, well, I lived above the pub, yeah. and uh, he said, "Look, you can either pay to be here, which is 120 bucks a week for a room this big," and I said, "No." He said, "Or oh, you can work in the bar," and I went, "I'll work in the bar," Damn. and that was a freak show. Yeah, that was. Uh, there's, a, there's a running theme in your life about being on top of bars. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're working, never too far away from sleeping. a bar. Sleeping, <laughs> sleeping never right? too far away from a bar. No, well, there is one here. Yeah, I, I've made sure because I'm, I'm the same. I, yeah, refused, right. I made him put one in. So for the this coffee week. machine went. Yeah, no, yeah, no got, they got rid of that. Got yeah. a couple of taps. I've, yeah. I've a bit of a bone to pick with you. Sauce, Sauce told me just before you came on that you've uh, you actually stole something from me. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> is that? Uh, I saw. Yeah. I saw. I saw. I'm just gonna have to. I saw your show a couple of years ago and I saw it and I loved it. So oh, really? I loved the. Um, okay, I'll, thing. I'll pay you the. I'll pay you the fifty. Oh, so hang on. <laughs> so, oh, so you stole that? I thought you were about to his wallet or his car or something. Oh, you mean you stole? <laughs> oh, sorry. So, so you stole That's what he's job. doing now. He's got a couple I wondered why because I left and I came and my car was missing, but in, in its place was a note. A note. He was driving. So you, stole, <laughs> so you stole it in the old moment from Lynchy. I did. I did. I just I thought the show was great, so I I, I thought, hey, that's good. I'll steal that. Well, just before. So you if you come and see the show, that's what you'll. See, just we're gonna come and steal your stuff. We're gonna steal yeah, from Family Guy <laughs> That's and, right. and the Simpsons are all just stolen. And just so you know that we're not dead either from our show. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, That's we're good. I know, know we left. I know we left. In my notes, I had. <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> our, our careers are, yeah. but we're not on the show. We're not dead at all. Oh, no. I was going to ask that. Uh, there seems to be a bit of a the people in your play seem to be the only working people from ex-cast neighbours, uh, ex neighbours <laughs> cast members who actually have work. Does it help or hinder your career as an actor to be on Neighbours, such a big show? That's a really good question. Yeah. Thanks. The most sensible thing I've heard Thanks, all day. I've got that on my notes. So. Uh, he spent all uh, day. To be honest, he's been writing that question for two it, days. It <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> oh no, yeah. it, off. Um, it can be a huge help um, yeah. in regards to bombs on seats, but it can be a bit of a hindrance if you want to get people, um, like theatre producers, to come and see it. Yep. You know, because they sort of have this um, misconception that you're a one-trick pony and that that's all you do. Mm. You, you, were, you were in a soup, and that's all you do. Yeah. Um, but that's why we started doing the comedy festival just to prove that. Did you did you find going, different? Did you find going over to the UK and stuff because a lot of people do pantomimes and stuff? Mm -hmm. did you, did you, so what, what's what's what is that? That's just a massive thing that the it's huge. I'm so we we would fill thousand seat seat theaters because like, I've never been to a yeah. pantomime. But, it's, but you did. You probably just couldn't remember. Oh, so it's, is it? It's little kids. Is it? The, it's mostly little kids and families. Yeah, that's that's who the, the market is, and they get sort of people like to do Cinderella, and they'll have say we've got the equivalent in Belfast. We've got the equivalent of Dame Edna. Um, mm. And her name is Mamie McFetridge, and they'll have her as the queen, you know, fairy godmother, and then they'll have me as like um, uh, Prince Charming. Is there any uh, is there any neighbours <laughs> cast member that's still doing it? They're just doing it for that little bit too long. Like, <laughs> so is Bruce Bruce Summers and still doing it? And he left the show what fifteen oh, years ago. He's He's still still well, I, I, I left last year, and I'm yeah. I'm doing one this year. Yeah, that's oh, nothing that's wrong. That's that's like, <laughs> is, there someone, is, there, is there someone older that's been doing it for like um, 10, 15 years? Probably, but look, let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, they get really bad reception in the UK for this show, so it's okay. Yeah. Well, um, Pat, we we appreciate you coming <laughs> well, in. We've it's very spoken young. about neighbours though. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Well, well, we give the give. Give the show the plug. Go on. Hey, uh, what were we? To this camera. This, this one. one hey, come and see our show. No, 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 no. No, no, no. If you want some, if you want some information about it, go to Gertrude's.com.au. .au. Uh, it's in Fitzroy at a little bar called Gertrude's, and uh, we're playing Wednesday to Saturday for the next two weeks. It, it should be good. Like, it is. Check it out. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank in. you very much. We'll be back with more of the breakfast show right after this. Thanks so much for that.